Hello, West Ham fans. I'm uh, Paul from Canada. Actually, from England. That's where I grew up, but I now live here. Um, unlike Mr. B, who uh, was really pissed off, and we all are, off that Newcastle game. At least, here's the positive for you guys. At least it, it finishes for you at quarter to five. For me... It's quarter to nine on Saturday, and I've got the whole rest of Saturday to go through before I can, you know, drink myself silly and go to bed and try to forget about it. And then, of course, it's Sunday, the game's right. Yeah, no, doesn't work. Uh, lots of reasons why we're, we're in trouble right now. Uh, the first indication was the Man City for it friendly in Iceland. That was ridiculous. Uh, the, the, the passion, the lack of passion on the field, the lack of passion on the sidelines... Uh, the lack of cohesion, the lack of fitness. It was men versus boys, I think, as uh, uh, Gonzo said. I think he's the one who came up with that one. And he was quite right. It was. That should have been the first indication that when we went to United, we were going to get our butts kicked. And we did. We went there. And, uh, yeah, they're a good side. But they've had their issues. The past. Old Trafford's not the same as it used to be. There's no way we should have expected that. Oh, um, and there's no way we deserve that. With the quality that we do have, we should have got away with less than that. But unfortunately, we were set up so poorly, uh, so defensively, that statistics say that if you invite enough attacks on you, eventually someone's going to go in. And, and three did. Surprise, surprise. You didn't uh, you'd go up there and push up and give it a go. What's to lose? God, I'd rather see us lose 3-0 playing some good football than sitting back and absorbing it all. You know, it's a defeatist attitude. Go to Southampton, good performance, if if not flawed, and maybe a little lucky. I don't know, maybe the players gelled, but I certainly don't think it came really from the sidelines. I think they picked themselves up after the... Uh, Marco, thanks very much for getting the red card. Um, I think we deserve to win that one. Uh, we didn't need any uh, set pieces to get our goals, Southampton fans. But nevertheless, we came out losers. And then Newcastle. When I saw the midfield on the team sheets just before the game... I was thinking, what, we're going to lose. Uh, and sure enough, the journeyman 5 out of 10 Newcastle players walked through us. They ran through us. Why? Well, because they're fitter. Like all the teams in the Premier League, we've had a fitness issue for two seasons. Our passing isn't particularly good, but after 65 minutes, it goes down the plug hole. Uh, and, and another reason why? Rafa versus Billick. Is there, is there a really... A, I mean... You know, that's not really a fair, fair playing field there, is it? Um, I love uh, Bilic. I've loved him. He's, he, was a, he was a defender for us. He's West Ham through and through. Although there was that Everton thing that happened there. And we're not really talked about that very much. But anyway, moving on. Um, but he isn't. He is not uh, a good tactician. He's not a good motivator. I mean, we've got either side of him. I don't know who those two are. Who is it? Uh, there's Lurch on one side of him and Bubbles because of the hair on the other side. The three of them, uh, you know, I've seen you need a, I've seen more passion in a desiccated walnut on the sidelines. Um, we need a defibrillator, some voltage or something to pucker them up. I mean, we need to, we need something. Uh, we have the players, but the sum of the parts are, is not good enough. We need someone who can gel that. Uh, we've got all sorts of issues. His formations, number one, playing four at the back isn't working for us. Uh, you've got three very creaky defenders back there. Um, you never should be playing Fonte and Collins together. Love Collins. He's my first out of those two. Um, but I would have Reed, Oggy, Fonte or Collins at the back. And then on the right-hand side, just start with Zabaleta. 65 minutes when his legs are starting to go. You get Byram on to go down the wing and bomb the balls in for Chicha. OK, we need some good crosses going in there. And Antonio. OK, on the other side, for me, it's Masuaku every single time ahead of Cresswell. I love Cresswell. But um, Masuaku's defensive, he's just a little suspect. We've seen the handballs. We've seen the few occasions. But going forward, he is a different player and should be played on that left wing ahead of Cresswell. Cresswell's defending hasn't been great lately either. Ever since that uh, that injury he had he has not looked the same player for me it's Masuaku ahead every time you don't start Declan Rice 18 year old all that pressure all that pressure we've lost two games why because of mistakes and you put all that pressure on his shoulders he's too young for that is he good enough yes he is is he mentally all there no he isn't you start Obiang he was coming back from an injury from last season but we've seen what he's like when he's at his best he starts at 65 70 minutes Declan comes on and that's how we get Declan into the game will we ever see him again if Reese Oxford is any idea 
then no, he'll be farmed out. I hope not. He needs to start. Okay, in front, we've got Marco, when you're back. It would be so nice if you could play for us. Thank you. And then Lanzini. Okay, in front of them, Chicha and Antonio. And they're the players that start week in, week out, so that we at least know what our team is. And they start to have some communication, some coordination, some familiarity with each other, and we start to play like a team. You cannot, I know we've had injuries, you can't keep moving those people around. It's too dodgy. Um, Mark Noble, you've been a fantastic servant to the club. Wonderful. You're West Ham through and through, and you're now, please, a squad player. We don't want Shades of Allardyce, who started well. We all know who he started every single time. Mark, you don't have that right to be starting every single time. The Parker turn isn't doing it for us. Um, I'm not sure if, if it is your legs, which people are saying, or if it is just the fact that you need a little bit of a rest and a bit more inspiration. Um, competition is good. You need to be starting on the bench. Um, four more games, David's Really? Four more games? I'm sorry. I love Bilic, but it's time for him to go. Who else? <clears throat> Rafa's got a five million dollar clause. Five million pound clause, sorry. Get him. I mean, he didn't look too bad, did he? And if not him, what a scoop it would be to get Wagner from Huddersfield just before we play them. That would be a, a double-edged sword if I'd ever seen one. That man's a tactician. That man has got some journeyman players from the championship to get two wins out of three games and the worst result he's had so far is a draw. Now we all know that's adrenaline and that's gonna fade out as the season goes on, but there is no doubt that man knows what he's doing. He has taken a team that really is a league one team and he's got them in the premiership. We need a new manager. David's act soon, okay? Please. Um, otherwise, we are not going to move up to the next level. In fact, we might move down to the next level. We don't want that with the stadium that we have. We can't afford all that. Okay, last point, just to leave us, because I always believe, leave people on a positive, even if it's a bit cynical. Karma's great, isn't it? Have you seen what's happening to Spurs at Wembley? I think it's time for us to start chin-wagging that a little more. It's great. I love seeing them eating their humble pie. Anyway, till next time, keep up the good work, Gio Gonzo and the whole crew. Really enjoy it.